Hello and welcome, PML fans. I'm your host today, Joe Zamore here, and I got with us all of our coaches from PML as we are going to start our draft. And obviously, uh, pick number one is for the uh, badass Frostlass, coach of the Indiana Tracers, and he picks Dragapult. So now we have Augusta Agron's Ace Trainer Ryan on the clock. Of course, Dragapult's an amazing pick. Very versatile, can be ran physical or special. And uh, Calvin knew he wouldn't be here uh, at the very beginning, but he said he'd join in uh, by the second round. So. He did give us his first pick right out of the gate. And for our second pick, the Augusta Agron's pick. Excadrill. All right, now we have Filipino Ferrothorns on the clock, and they have already submitted their pick. have Galarian Darmanitan off the board. Of course, Galarian Darmanitan is a very scary Pokemon with Gorilla Tactics. Automatic choice band, and you can scarf that thing, of course. So, very versatile Pokemon. Well, not versatile. Very powerful Mon, though. You may know what it's doing, but it's still going to come out and hit hard. Also got to make sure to knock off what uh, got picked for me, too, because I am also drafting. So next up, we have Coach of the PA Pilots on the clock. And I won't be announcing everyone's pick. Uh, eventually, we'll get to someone who is on the call and will make their own pick. But right now, we have Calvin of the PA Pilots. All right, PA Pilots, you got about one more minute before we move on to the next pick. Where's Calvin at? Well, welcome, welcome, guys. How are all of y'all doing today? Hopefully, y'all are enjoying the draft. Thank you, Skills in 1985, for the follow. Very appreciated. All 
All right, Calvin has seen the message. Let's, uh, he's probably not on the Discord. So let's see if he's actually going to pick here. All right, so he actually picks Rillaboom. So Rillaboom is off the board. And I know someone who's not going to be happy about that. But Rillaboom has been picked by the PA Pilots. And next up, we have Eric. Or I, he probably wanted to be called by his on-screen name. I don't know. It's just Eric. Eric of the San Diego Supercharge Arts. It is on to you. Yeah. Mimikyu. All right. Mimikyu is off the board. Any reason you picked Mimikyu? All right, that's awesome, man. Oh, I'm sure we're going to see a bunch of uh, bulk up and swords dance shenanigans. <laughs> Leave it to the imagination. All right, next up we have Skillzen. I believe that's who it is. Skillzen, uh, co uh, coach of the Trueberry Town Johto Beast. All right, he's tagged and he is on the clock. I see him typing. Let's go ahead and see what he's picking. All right, he has picked. Blastoise. So Blastoise is off the list of Pokemon that are available. And then we move on to the next pick, which is the Delaware Dittos. There we go. Took me a while to get that one. All right. And the Delaware Dittos, Coach Ryan, or Rhino, chooses Cartana. And I don't believe I have that one there. But Cartana is off the board. And I don't have Cartana on my Pokedex, so <laughs> sorry for that. But Cartana is off the board, and we move on to the Chikudami Shurukens. That would be Coach Christopher. Yeah, he did. So we'll be getting an answer from him shortly. Uh, 
and I appreciate all, all you guys' hard work and patience. Uh, Libero is available for Cinderace, so I'm assuming he's going to pick Cinderace. Let me get that. And it looks like Sharpie is not happy about that. All right, Cinderace is taken by the Chikudami Shurukens. And next up, we have the Myrtle Magikarp, Coaches James. All right, he gets his mascot Pokemon. Other than that, is there a reason you choose Gyarados? <laughs> we can't argue with that logic. Gyarados is taken by the Myrtle Magikarp. Alright, we move on to the Serene Grace Shockwaves. So you used to like Pelipper or what? What's happening there? <laughs> All right, we got, I believe, Casper Dynamax. Casper doesn't seem to be online on discord but he is on uh facebook and someone seems to have taken a tumble oh sorry about that i didn't have y'all's thing unmuted so uh do you want to explain again why you picked gyarados Uh, yeah, you need me to explain it again? You yeah, can. it's yeah. my my spirit animal. That's why. Your spirit. <laughs> and, uh, Casper chooses Dragonite. So Dragonite is no longer on the board. Sometimes it sucks being the last pick. I don't seem to have Dragonite on my thing, so that's weird. But Dragonite was what was picked. So again, sorry about that. I thought I had my uh, Pokedex completely filled out, but I guess not. Or at least the ones that would get picked, you know? And next up, we have Coach of the Infernapes. The New Orleans Apes, coach of, coached by Melvin. And Salamence is the pick for Melvin, coach of the Infernate. I know I have that one somewhere because I, I picked that one last draft. There we go. Salamence is off the board. So next up, 
we have Brandon Borgum. Is Brandon finally available? And if not, we will have to make a change. We'll give him two minutes. <laughs> All right, Salamance, a very intimidating pick, no pun intended. It has Dragon Dance accessibility, Moxie boost, and Intimidate, of course, to drop the attack to get a free setup on anything in the world. Paired up with the Yachi Barrier Life Orb, and your opponent's going to be in for a tough time. At least that's how I used to run it. <laughs> I'm sure there's better ways. I didn't do well with it. Alright, so. Brandon does not seem to be here. Luckily, we do have a replacement coach. And let's go ahead, save over that. And now, instead of Brandon, we have Dusty, coach of the Day Day Knights. Or the Dragons. I'm not sure which one he's going to go with this season. But Coach of the Dragoons, or Dragons, or Day-Day Knights. He'll let me know here shortly. You are on the clock. And he did not have much prep time, so we're going to give him a little bit. So far, many great Pokemon off the board already. All right, so Dusty, whenever you are ready, sir. Oh, yeah, I'm taking Corviknight. Oh, snap. So, Corviknight is off the board. Any reasons you're choosing Corviknight? One of the last doubles tournaments I played in, I whooped all of my opponents with just Corviknight. Didn't even need to use the other ones. Oh, snap. Well, Corviknight is a deadly monster who is very tanky and can dish out what it can take. So, Corviknight is off the board. And now we move on to the Rillagoons. Goon Squad, as David would like to say. Jesse will go ahead and give us his pick, though, since David is unavailable today. But at least he had a backup person to do his draft. And Metagross is off the board. The Rillagoons have selected, with their number one pick, Metagross. Look at that destructive monster, Professor X over here. Metagross chose it because David is gross. All right, well, very good pick for uh, the Rillagoons there. And now we move on to the Chibi Chews. Um, I won't say her name because I'm not sure uh, what nickname she would want to be called. But we'll just go with Coach of the Chibi Chews for now. Sharpie will 
probably make her pick for her. All right, XJ9. Oh, that's a uh, that's a uh, Jenny from uh, Robot Girl, right? So XJ9 has picked Blucephalon. And I'm pretty sure I don't have that Pokemon either on my thing. No, I do not. But Blucephalon has been taken. And next up we have Sharpie, Savannah Sharpedo's head coach. So you are on the clock. All right, Knights this time. So many incredible Pokemon off the board already. Glacephalon just being the newest member off the board. What will Sharpie pick? As we get lower on the draft board here, it's slim pickings. But luckily for them and me, <laughs> we get first shot at tier two. And Sharpie is going to go with Stack Attacka. And I know I don't have that one either on the draft board. I I, next time I'll do better at that. But Stack Attacker has been taken by Sharpie. And next up, we got my team, New England Tartriots. Coach is Joe Zamora. Me. Um, and for my first pick, it's a very tough thing I'm going to go with here. But I'm going to go with Garchomp. So Garchomp is selected by me. So I get at least a dragon. I did want a dragon from this pick. And next up is me again. Since this is the 16th pick, it is a will pick. And for the first pick of Tier 2, I am going to go with... I not have it. What the heck? Oh, y'all are at the edge of your seats now. I don't seem to have it. Why? I know I've used one. All right. I don't know why it's not on my Pokedex thing, but I am going to go with Incineroar for pick number two. And now we are in Tier 2. We're going to go back to Sharpie, coach of the Savannah Sharpedos. I had to pick Incineroar. I it chose it over my favorite Tier 2 Pokemon. Uh, doing something a little different this season. So, it's going to be uh, It's going to be interesting. Hopefully my favorite Pokemon can still fall to me, but we'll see. Got a whole 32, 30 picks to go before that happens. So Sharpie is going to go ahead and take his time to make this pick. And then after, XJ9 will go ahead and make her pick. All right, Sharpie seems to have gone with Hippowdon. I not have that one. Why is my uh? Oh, there we go. I was about to say, why is my Pokedex all whack? So Sharpie has selected Hippowdon, and now XJ9 and the Chibi Chews are up.
and Gen X J9 was ready. And she will go ahead and select Primarina. Why do I not add that Pokemon? Maybe I'm just looking in the wrong places. I don't know. Seems like uh, the Gen 8 starters aren't in the Pokedex for some reason, but they're in the game. Primarina is taken by the Chibi Chews. Next up, we have Coach of the Rillagoons, backup coach, Jesse. All right, Rillagoons pick Clefable. So Clefable is no longer on the board. Big bulky mod. And I seem to not be able to find anything. All right, Clefable has been picked. And now we go to the Knights. Dusty's turn to pick. So Clefable has been picked by the Rillagoons. The Knights are up next. Let's see what they decide to go with here. All right, and of course, Dusty chooses the big female of the South, the thickest of them all, Chansey! Chansey is officially off the board. And we are good to go. Chansey is taken, one of Dusty's favorites, of course. And now we move on to Melvin of the Infernapes. The New Orleans Apes are on the board. Alrighty, Melvin, I seem to have sniped his uh, Incineroar pick. But he does go Ndidi Female. So Ndidi Female is now off the board. Man, I wish it was an easier way to do this. Of course, that's male, but you know, you know, you get the picture. There we go. And DD female is off the board. And now we move on to Casper Dynamax, coach of the Serene Gray Shockwaves. So Casper is up next. Let's see what he decides to pick. He is typing now. And he will go Scizor. Scizor is off the board. And that is a Isle of Armor Pokemon. And we have that. Beautiful Scizor off the board. As we move on to the Myrtle Magikarps. Let's see what James decides to go for here. All right, Myrtle selects uh, Haxorus. All right, Myrtle selects Haxorus. Beast of the East. He is ready to come in and eat people's soul. Haxorus is here now. Any strategy you trying to pull off with that thing? Uh, no, I just saw 
uh, our buddy Steven, uh, shout out Goon Squad. Uh, he's a big fan of it, so he's the best battler I know. <laughs> so you're like, well, if he can win with it, why can't I? Yeah, something like that. Do my best. All right, next up we got Chikudemi Shurukens. Working our way back down this list. And that is... Christopher. I'm gonna tag him real quick. So as we wait for his pick, Oh, and Rillagoons did not seem too excited about James's pick of Haxers. Looks like the Rillagoons are trying to take it for themselves. Woohoo! Haxers is a beefy boy. He is very dangerous. He can have Dragon Dance or Swords Dance. Very intimidating Pokemon also. Doesn't have Intimidate though. And Christopher's pick is in. And he is going with... Toxapex. Toxapex is off the board. Christopher is bringing that boy home. And we move on to our next pick. Coach of the Delaware Dittos. Ryan is quick to... Act, and Ryan decides to go for a Zoomeril. I don't believe it's in this one. But you never know. Yeah, it was. A Zoomeril is officially off the board, and we move on to our next pick. There we go. We got the big round bunny boy. And next up, we have Coach of the Shrewberry Johto Beast. Go ahead and get that going. It's not... Yeah, he has a nickname. Skills in, right? Can, yeah, can you hear me? Yes. Cool. My pick is Venusaur. All right. Venusaur? Oh, mm -hmm. yeah, Venusaur. All right. Venusaur is off the board. I don't know why I, I was like... Venusaur. Of course Venusaur. Why not Venusaur? <laughs> there we go. And Venusaur. Oh, shiny Venusaur is there on screen. Any reason you chose Venusaur? It's a very bulky and offensive mon. Hope deal with fairies and just one of my favorite Pokemon as well. Oh, that's awesome. We got the big bulky starter off the board. So Charizard is the only one left to be picked. And next up, we have Eric of the San Diego Super Charizards. I mean, Charizards. Sorry. Of course, I have it. <laughs> That's fine. I still call him San Diego anyway. Um, I'll take Milo Tick. Big bulky water type off. Thank you, Melvin, for the follow as well. And big bulky water is off the board. Milotic is finally on a team. Snipe me, man. Ah, oh, I was hoping to get Milotic. But it's okay. There's other water types. Not as good, but you know, Milotic is amazing. Alright, so next up we have... Calvin. Coach of the PA Pilots. Let's see what he decides to go with here. Well, I think we actually know his pick already. No one ended up picking it. So let's go ahead and get our cursor that way and I believe his pick was 
Corsola, Galarian form. Bulky little bastard with an Eviolite. Likes to strength set people and hex them. So that is Calvin's pick. And now we move on to the Filipino Ferrothorn. Yeah, so is there no limit on the Gothitelle ability? Correct. You can use uh, whatever ability it has. All right. Yeah, I'll take. Yeah, I'll take that. That's that's fine. Yeah. All right. So Gothitelle is off the board. Of course, seems he wants to use it for some shenanigans of trapping. It's really it's really good value at tier two. Honestly, I was really surprised. <clears throat> That it's there, so might as well make the most of it. Oh yeah. So got the tell is officially off the board and we can move on to the Augusta Agron. We are finally at pick number two again. And I'm still looking for Gothitel. There we are. Last pick was Gothitel. And Ace Trainer Ryan goes for Slow Bro Cantonian. So Slow Bro Cantonian is officially off the board. I wish there was a faster way I could find these Pokemon. <laughs> but Slow Bro Cantonian is officially off the board. And. Next up, we have Matthew. Oh, sorry. Um, Badass Frostlass, coach of the Indiana Tracers. And he went ahead and just picked both of his Pokemon right now. He's going Doug Drio, Cantonian. I was already here, right? He goes for the Dougie. Teach me, teach me how to Dougie. And I can't seem to find that one either. I must not have it. And then his second pick was Weavile. Ah! I know I have that one. Boom. So Weavile is that. So now we go back to Augusta Agrons. All right, Ace Trainer Ryan puts his pick in quickly and goes for the Lucario. So Lucario is officially off the board. Next up, we have Filipino Ferrothorns. And yeah, I'm here. I'm here, yep. Your next pick? Yeah, the 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 Gengar just posted it. All right, Gengar is officially off the board. Very very interesting tricks you could run with that Pokemon. Gengar, where you at, Gengar? I know I have Gengar. There we go. Gengar is officially off the board. And next up, we have Calvin, coaches the PA Pilots, and he's going for his mascot. He's going for the Snorlax. Snorlax is officially off the board. Big Pokemon is leaving. So the big boy himself is taken. Now we go to the San Diego Super Charizards. Eric. See what he decides to um, do. Mudsdale. And Mudsdale is officially off the board. Boom. Mudsdale is there. Big Pokemon with stamina ability. What are you aiming to use it for? Uh, get what I can with it. I know it's not fast, but it, it hits pretty hard, so I'll just try and do what I can. Mudzo is always a good Pokemon to have on your team. Now we'll move on to Shrewberry Town, Johto Beast again. Skillzen. 
what will be your second tier two pick? My second tier two pick will be Cloyster. Cloyster is officially off the board and sniped. I'm going very Kanto here, I just realized. Yeah, Gen 1 is always a good way to go. If you ask me, anyway. Cloyster is gone. Skill Link is always very dangerous. And you can either yeah, white herb it or shell smash. smash. Shell link is a very powerful Pokemon. Certainly going to be a threat, and we'll see how people fare against it. Definitely. Maybe you'll get a kill leader for a week or two. All right, now we'll move on to the Delaware Jittos. Coach Ryan is on the clock. All right, and Ryan decides to go with Komo'o. So Komo'o is officially off the board. Very scary, man. You can get that Soul Blaze up. And going. Takutami Shurukens are on the board. All right, so Christopher, coach of the Shurukens, is going to send us his pick shortly. And Eric, what was your pick again? You didn't put it down in the other chat. And me with my short attention span, I already forgot. He took Mudsdale. Mudsdale. Now we're waiting on Christopher, and I'm sure he's going to make a miraculous pick. So we have plenty of scary Pokemon left to pick in Tier 2. Very versatile team so far. And I believe Skillsen said he was going to go with a theme. I guess the theme is tier one, uh, Gen 1. <laughs> and Christopher has chosen Tangrowth. So Tangrowth is officially off the board. So, Tangrowth is officially a Shuriken. Now we move on to Myrtle Magikarps. Let's see what James picks this time. Yeah, Myrtle's going to pick Pelipper. Oh, Pelipper does come off. And that boy is picked. Mr. Drizzle making it rain. Jesse said do it, and he did it. Let's go ahead and move on to the next pick here. Serene Gray Shockwaves. Casper.
All right, so Casper is normally pretty quick. I just tagged him. Let's see what he selects. And Casper chooses the one, the only, Sylveon. Sylveon is off the board. Big fairy type to leave so soon. So the majesticness of Sylveon is officially gone. As we move on to the New Orleans Apes. And Melvin didn't take no time. He selects Mandibuzz. The Mandibuzz is officially off the board. Now we move on to the Knights. Coach Dusty, ready to make your pick. And uh, no, James, goons have not been skipped. I think y'all are next. Yeah, you're next. And Dusty selects the opposite of Chansey and goes Alakazam. From slow and bulky to fast and powerful. Alexam is off the board. And now we move on to the Rillagoons. All right, Jesse seemed to be excited for this next pick. Let's see what he decides to throw down. And Hydreigon has been picked. Very interesting, because uh, Dusty's favorite Pokemon is Hydreigon. Surprisingly not going there. Going to choose something a little different this time around. Which opens it up, and it lets, uh, what you call, I had a full head of steam until I started looking for these Pokemon, <clears throat> which let the Rillagoons pick Hydreigon, and now we move on to XJ9. Oh, and she's ready typing. And Skarmory is off the board. So Skarmory is officially picked. And we move on to Sharpie. Go to the Savannah Sharpedos. And he is quick to type as well. He is ready to go. Rotom Wash. Rotom Wash is officially off the board. So great, nice pick of a bulky water type. Of course, it has uh, the Volt Turn. Not Volt Turn. It just has Volt Switch. doesn't have U-Turn. But still a very, very good pick. And yes, I forgot the alphabet for a second. Rotom. There we go. The correct Rotom form is there. And now we'll move on to the New England Chartreuse. All right. Let's see what I decide to go with here. Um. Let me see. Let me look this over real quick.
We all know you're taking Lycanroc. That's what I was planning on taking. There was another Pokemon I kind of wanted. Not sure which one I should pick. Because I know what I'm picking in the third round. Even I know what you're picking in the next one to pick. Nah, uh, sadly I'm not picking that. Um, let's see. What should I go with here? I got two minutes. Give me a second. Uh. uh and I have my list. Also, shout out to James for uh, proving me wrong and picking the burb. <laughs> yeah, no worries about it. I'm good to my word. Fuck it. I know what I'm picking. Let me see if I can find it here. Not there. What the heck? Where is this thing? Maybe it's on the Pokedex. All right, so it's just not in the Pokedex. I am going to go with Swampert. That will be my Tier 2 pick. And for my Tier 3 pick, one of my favorites. Not my favorite, but one of them. I'm going with Galvantula. So Galvantula is officially off the board. And now we can move on to Sharpie. Go to the Savannah Sharpedos. Galvantula, obviously one of the better looking Pokemon. Love the way it looks. Especially shiny. Look at that beautiful beast. Why you took my tap? Sorry, Galvantula is one of my favorite mons and singles. I had to take them. Sticky webs, very powerful. Volt turn, I mean volt switch ability, sucker punch. It's got it all. Very, uh, very good utility on a tier three Pokemon. But Joe, that's not Charizard. I know. Trust me, it hurt my heart. But I was like, if I pick Incineroar, I shouldn't pick Charizard. That's why I was like, do I want to pick Incineroar? And I did. I I, I, I want to win. <laughs> I better win for that sacrifice. All right, Coach of the Sharpedos is typing now. All right, there is Fungus Amoongus. He picks Amoongus. And Amoongus is officially off the board. Now we can go to XJ9. Chibi Chews is on the board. And you gotta admit, guys, that is a very cute logo. So, Amoongus, very interesting pick, very bulky, gets Regenerator, and uh, she will go with Raichu Alolan. So, Raichu is officially off the board. Well, Alolan Raichu, anyway. And we can move on to the Rillagoons. I know they're ready to make their next pick. I'm guessing Charizard.
All right. And the typing came in fast. Araquanid is here. Very solid mon. Gets sticky web. Very bulky. Mere, uh, can send back special attacks. I forget what the move's called. But, Araquanid is officially off the board. Next up, we got the Knights. Coach Dusty. And a very special thanks to Coach Dusty. Not only is he filling in for a coach who had to not be here today, but he is also taking care of our draft for everyone in the chat. He's making sure everything keeps running smoothly so I can play with my Pokedex and do and show it off on screen what y'all have picked. So special thanks to Dusty for that. And special thanks to Matthew for filling in the dock as we go along. <laughs> Shout out to the Dusty Boy. Uh, I love Araquanid too. It's shiny. looks really fucking cool. I don't know if I have the shiny. Oh, I do. Boom. Shiny Araquanid. Not sure if... Uh, the person who picked it will be using the shiny, but I always nickname this thing Spider-Man. It's just so cool looking. I can't guarantee you I will be using the shiny version of Galvantula, so be ready to see that. So I'd like to take a second to just plug in if you like uh, Joe's stream right now and you want to get more of him and some other of us at PML, we've got a podcast called Pokey Dippies you can check out. It's a lot of shenanigans and good fun. We usually try to come out with one new episode every week, so check it out. Oh, yeah. April. It's a blast, boys. Give it a go. Listen to it. Oh, yeah. It's been a lull here in April, but now that everyone's going to be back on the grind, we're recording an episode tonight that will be out in a week. Dusty is taking Rhyperior. So Rhyperior is officially off the board. And I missed it. Boom. There we go. Rhyperior has been taken by the Knights. Next up, we have New Orleans Apes. And Melvin is quick to pick. And goes for Nido Queen. So Nido Queen is officially off the board. A very awesome Pokemon. Very bulky. Very good at setting up hazards. Very good at killing Pokemon. It is here. And I can't find it. <laughs> Maybe it's a Crown Tundra add on. There we go. Needle Queen is officially off the board and off my list of Pokemon to pick. Next up, we have Casper, coach of the Serene Gray Shockwaves. Let's go ahead and get Casper back in here. Woo! Early day, early day, early in the day. Not really early in the day, but you know, early for me. I fell asleep at like three, so. I was a horrible uh, host for the draft. I waited the last minute to make my list, so <laughs> I was like, shit, I got to get that done. Also, guys, if you want to get to know your coaches a little bit better, go to PML on YouTube. And check out their interviews. You'll get some hijinks, some shenanigans, and most importantly, some of the strategies they want to get done. And the Nitos are both off the board. Don't worry, Dusty. I'll get you. I I'll add you to the list. 
um, Casper gets Nido King, so I don't have to travel very far for that, but I do got to scratch another name off my list. So, Nido King is officially a Serene Grace Shockwave. Next up, we got the Myrtle Magikarps. Yeah, Myrtle's going to be taking Bronzong. Bronzong. Going to get some of that light screens, trick room, explosion shenanigans going on. What's your favorite way to use Bronzong? Uh, stealth Rock and then screens like... All right, expect Bronzong to be a very common lead for James as we move on to... The Shurikens. And we got to go to Facebook for that pick. Alrighty, fellas. Alrighty, guys. Let's go ahead and make sure we keep this ball rolling. Bouncy Panda, what's up? How's it going? Welcome to the stream. The drafting stream. Sorry I've been uh, been talking to you guys in the chat. Been focused on getting these picks in and showing this Pokemon on screen when possible. Hello, Sean. Greetings, Sean. Greetings from the BML Masters. And I just want to say and point out, most people might be like, oh, PML, they copied that phone game? No, we came out two years before the phone game came out. So technically they ripped us off. But, you know. Pokemon, we can't say that. Because then they'll be like, oh yeah? You want to pay us money? Nope, I'm okay. All right, so Christopher has finally let us know what he wants, and it is Noivern. So Noivern is officially off the list. Very interesting pick for a Tier 3. And let's move on to the next coach. We got the Delaware Dittos. Ryan is ready to go. And Ryan goes and breaks my heart, picking Charizard. So Charizard is officially off the board. I can't pick him later. Very great pick, especially since we have access to... Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Especially since we have access to Dynamaxing. So Charizard is off the board, and we move on to the Shrewsbury Town Johto B. Skillsin! Alright, my tier 3 pick will be Manectric. Oh, Manectric is off the board. How do you plan on using that thing? Lightning Rod, most likely? Lightning Rod, Bolt Switch, can I overheat? Again, like Venusaur, one of my probably second favorite Pokemon to Venusaur. Okay. Nice. Awesome to use your favorite. I'm like what I'm doing right now. <laughs> and I don't seem to have Manectric on my list. What the heck? Pokemon you figured would be in the list. I'm not here. Oh, there we go. Boom. Manectric is off the board. And we can move on to Eric of the San Diego Super Charizards. Mr. G! And 
and Mr. G goes for Duraladon. So Duraladon is officially off the board. And I skills and just showed me what he picked. Manectric, right? Let me add that to the list. And next up, we have Calvin of the PA Pilots. Everything that's not picked is unofficially off the board. But Duraladon. Interesting pick here. Very specially attacking. Let's see what Calvin decides to go with here. Let's go ahead and see what he decided to pick here. And Swoobat. Swoobat is off the board. Very interesting Pokemon there. Simple, of course, can wreak havoc on team. So Swoobat is there. Very scary Pokemon in the right hands. Now let's go on to the Filipino Ferrothorns. Alrighty, Reb. Let's see what you got going for you. Alright, and Rillagoons are going to be very upset. Vicavolt is off the board. So Vicavolt has been taken by the Filipino Ferrothorns. And next up, we have Augusta Agrons. So Ace Trainer Ryan, all up to you. Pokemon shall you pick? And Sigilip is officially off the board. Very strong Pokemon here. Can share its burns with people. Calm mind up. Stored powered everything. Next up we have Indiana Tracers. And they are quick to go. They choose Starmie. And Heracross. So Indiana Tracers. Select Starmie and Heracross. And I know Heracross is not in the first. I don't have Heracross here because that's a shield exclusive. So, nah, I don't think I've ever added it to the team. So, Indiana Tracers have made their picks. Ryan says, poor Lantern. And now we go back to the Augusta Agrons. Ace Trainer Ryan's turn to pick.
and Dusty is about to share the tier four picks. Excuse me. Whew. Here we go, Ace Trainer Ryan. Tier four is a special place where many different Pokemon live. And Ace Trainer decides to go with another Rotom form. Rotom Mo. So Rotom Mo is officially off the board. And next up, we have the Filipino Ferrothorns. All right, so let's go ahead and tag Reb real quick. And have him pick. Very interesting pick. Very, very strong attacking wise. Leaf Storm's always good, but. Leaf Storm's always good, but it can lower your special attack. But White Herb is a thing, so. You can get things done with it, that's for sure. Of course, there's also the trick ability, paint split, and Rotom has a lot of tricks up its sleeve. Alrighty, waiting for Reb. He's got a few. He's got a few. He's got a little bit of more time. Let's go ahead and see how this is going here. We are already on pick four. We're we're almost halfway through the draft, guys, and it's only been one hour. Going ahead and getting that. Tag also in the Facebook chat. Let me check if he sent me any list because I know he did say halfway through the thing he might need to leave picks with us. But he did not leave me anything. So Dusty and Matt, go ahead and check your messages real quick to see if he left you anything. Either way, he has a minute left, and if he does not select them on, he will be skipped and make his picks up later. This is why you leave picks with people who are able to make picks for you. You do not want to be skipped. Because you may miss out on the Pokemon you want. Alright, so that has been plenty of time for Ryan to make a pick. Sorry, not Ryan. Uh, Reb, sorry. So now we move on to the next pick. And it is Calvin of the PA Pilots.
So first skip of the draft, he might be skipped a few times. Hopefully that's not the case. Hopefully he got back over here. But it is what it is. Nothing we can do about it now except go on to the next pick. All right, Calvin O'Farrell is on the clock. He's typing now. And Galissapod is off the board. So I believe that is the Isle of Armor Pokemon. It is. Galissapod has been taken. And we move on to the San Diego Super Charizards. Mr. G. <laughs> and Dusty was not too happy about that pick. Alrighty, Mr. G, what is it going to be? Talonflame is off the board. So Talonflame has been picked. Right there, boom. It is now a Super Charizard. Alright, Shrewberry Town Johto Beast. It's time for Skillsin to make his pick. Ooh, that threw me. I really wanted Talon Flame. <laughs> um, ooh. Um, my next pick was uh, Claydol. All right. Claydol is officially off the board. Let's see where Claydol sits. But he is now a Shrewberry Town Jodo's Beast. And we move on to the Delaware Dittos. Ryan's turn to pick. There we go. Uh, I was requested to pin it. And I pinned the message. All right, and Ryan goes or Beetle. The so or Beetle is officially off the board. Orbito has been taken. Beautiful mind. Great utility. And now we move on to Shukutami Shurukens. Working our way back to Christopher here. So let's see what he decides to go with here. Off to the Facebook chat we go. You spin me right round, baby, right round. Let's get these picks going. Christopher goes Omastar, and you're welcome, Casper. The so Omastar is officially off the board. And I think that's one of the newer mods. And it is. Boom! Almostar is off the board. And of course, that's a very scary mod in the right hands. Uh, Reb, you can make up your picks anytime. Oh, man. 
Lost my place. Here we go. So next up, we have James. Little Magikarps on the clock. Yeah, uh, Myrtle is going to be selecting Ludicolo. Ludicolo is off the board. Ludicolo, a dancing fool. But That's right. Gets the job done. <laughs> he's been picked. So a lovable dancing fool. And there he is right on screen as we move on to the Serene Gray Shockwaves. All right, and Reb seems to uh, be ready to make his picks here. So get your pick in before he does. All right, uh, Matt, can you let me know how many uh, picks uh, Reb missed? I think it was just one. All right. Let me double check with him. Let him know, and once he gives me his pick, I will see what he says. But for now, Casper is making his pick. Or he was. All right, so Frostlass is officially taken off the board. There we go. Frostlass has been picked. Very good lead Pokemon to get a status and spikes. And we move on to the New Orleans Apes. All right, and quick to pick. He goes Delmai. So Delmise is officially off the board for the Apes. Now we move on to the Knights. Let's see what Dusty decides to pick here. Alright, so he has picked Hitmon Lee. Hitmon Lee, the kicking fiend, is no longer there for the picking. Very scary mon. And let's go ahead and see what ends up happening now. Rillagoons are on the clock.
Okay, I've been losing some Pokemon here. Alright, so Rilligoons go with Rotom Frost. And yet another Rotom off the board. So we got Freezer Burn over here. As we move on to the Chibi Chews. XJ9 is going to make her pick. And let's see what she decides to go with here. Ken Kirchin. Very interesting pick, but it makes sense since she does have the Alolan, Alolan Raichu. So Ken Kirchin is off the board. Little spike ball over there with the butt on its face. And Sharpie is bringing his mascot home. And he's going with Sharpedo. So the Isle of Armor Pokemon. And Sharpedo has been taken. Now it is my turn. And I honestly do not know what I want. Hmm. Let's see here. What should I go with? Not that, not that, not that. Look this over a little bit. <laughs> I don't know what I want. I mean, I kind of had an idea what I wanted, but it got picked. So. And what's amazing is uh, there was lots of talks about someone picking Lantern right away and no one's touched it. Alright, so this is going to be an interesting pick here. I am actually... Gonna go with. I don't know. Ah, oh, shit. Come on. Get it together. All right, I'm gonna go with Sock. Sock is off the board. So Sock is officially a Tartreus. And for my fifth pick, I will be going with... I'm going to go full Mantis for my fifth pick. So, off the board is Sock for my tier four and full Mantis for my tier five. So, next up to pick is the Savannah Sharpedos.
Oh wait, sorry, not full mantis. Never mind, scratch that pick. I'm gonna go Glaceon. Full mantis is the baby one. Sorry, sorry, I misread that. Unless it's Lurantis. I'll take Lurantis. But no, I'm going to go Glacier. <laughs> Where is Lurantis anyway? I don't see it on any of the lists. I might have made a mistake there. Maybe I meant to put Lurantis and I put Fomantis. Yeah, alright. Lurantis it is. I'll go Lurantis instead of Glaceon. Continue. Continue. Lurantis and Sock. <laughs> Sorry, that's it. Alright, so next up we got Sharpedos. Sorry about that, guys. That's my bad. It's not tier 5? What tier is it? If it's not tier 5, then I'm going to go Glaceon. See, this is why I need to relook over things all the time. Oh, it's not tier anything, then it's tier 5. Maybe I meant to put Lorantis and I put Full Mantis. I don't know. But that'll be my pick. Lorantis tier 5. Tier convenient? Honestly, wasn't going to pick Lorantis at all. But I wanted to close out my Firewater Grass core. So, that's what I went with. Firewater Ascord. <laughs> Lorantis could be good. Come on, guys. I, I made Maractus work once. Alright, Executor Cantonian is off the board. And now we move on to XJ9. Alright, and XJ9 goes Decidueye. So Decidueye is off the board. And... <clears throat> Those Pokemon aren't in the Pokedex for some reason. But they are in the game. Next up we have Coach of the Rillagoons. Or backup Coach of the Rillagoons. James. Oh, not James. Sorry, Jesse. Sorry, that's disrespectful. My bad. <clears throat> You've been calling me James this whole time? No, just this one time. <laughs> Together we are Team Rocket. <laughs> David's meow. Colossal has been off the board. Boom. Taken. Done. And we can move on to Knights. So next up, yeah, Knights. There we go. Boom. Ready to go. <laughs> Lorantis, the big ass word on the side. Sue me. All right. So Dusty's making his pick here. 
And what shall he choose? And Quagsire is off the board. One of the Pokemon I was looking at just in case I didn't get Swampert. And the pick is taken. Quagsire is gone. So next up we have Melvin. Go to the New Orleans Eights. There we go. Finally found it. And Apes choose Obama Snow. So Obama Snow is officially off the board for them. Boom. Thanks, Obama. Next up, we have Casper, coach of the Serene Grease. <laughs> Let's see what he decides to pick as we hear some beautiful bird calls. Gonna get made fun of for the ranches for a long time now. I'm gonna laugh when he's my MVP. And Casper goes Zoroark here. So Zoroark is officially off the board, and now we move on to Myrtle Magikarps. Yeah, Myrtles will be taking Aromatus. All right, Aromatus is off the board. Aromatis, Aromatus. All I know is it smells good. Next up, we have Christopher. Coach of the Shakutami Shurukens. And funny enough, uh, if you watch his interview, uh, his local team is actually called the Shurukens. So it wasn't hard for him to pick his mascot. He's not going to understand why there's a big-ass Lorantis on the side, either. He's just going to be like, what the hell? <clears throat> Drink water, people. It's good for you. Zoom liquids. And now we are waiting patiently. talking crap about Pikachu right now. Christopher, where you at, buddy? Give you another second to make this pick.
So who's ready to battle? That's what I'm ready for. All right, so Reb does choose Barascuta. Sorry, man, I just saw that. So that's his tier four pick. Barascuta. Let's see, you got one more minute, Christopher, and then I'm going to have to skip you. You're going to have to make up your pick another time. Oh, look, Bear Scoot is right there. Boom. That was Ryan's pick. I mean, not Ryan. Sorry. Rebs. Once the time changes, we will move on to the next pick, and it is now. So next up, we have Delaware Dittos. So Coach Ryan's ready to pick. And quickly goes to more Pico, the poke, the Pico clone of this generation. And it's so cute. Let's see how it fares in battle. Next up, we got Shrewsbury Town Johto Beast. Skills in, ready to pick again. My next pick will be Curtinator. Oh, Turtinator, the big turtle monster of the volcanic eruption variety. Turtinator. That's exactly the one, yeah. <laughs> Turtinator is off the board. Boom. There we go. It's finally on screen. And we can move on to the next one. San Diego Super Charizards on the clock. Mr. G, what will it be? <laughs> Mr. G is typing. Let's see what he goes with. After tier five, everyone has only four picks to go. We are schmoving right now. He wanted more Pico, but he'll take Sceptile. So Sceptile is officially off the board, and we move on to Calvin. All right, Calvin, it is your pick.
Let's see what the bulky team is taking this time. Did anyone take branches? I gotta know. I did. I took it. And now we're waiting for Calvin's pick. Alright, Calvin, I'm gonna tag you in the Facebook as well. Okay, there we go. Toga tomorrow. Toga tomorrow is officially off the board. Boom, right there. Togodomaru is picked. And now we can go to the Filipino Fair Thorns. Reb, what you got? Called you the correct name this time. And he is picking now. Pangoro. Pangoro is off the board. And moving on to the next one. Harding Shot Master over here. And now we go to Augusta Agrons. So Ace Trainer Ryan, all you, buddy. And he's going to go with Escavalier. So Escavalier is officially off the board. So, Escavalier has been picked. Now we can go to Matthew. Oh, sorry. My brother's name, so of course I have it. Um, Indiana Tracers. Let's go with Badass Frost last year. And it is time for him to make his tier 5 pick and his first free pick. So we're on the free picks now. Zorok is not available. He was picked by somebody. I forget. But it was picked a while back. And, um... For the free picks, yeah, Dusty will be posting all the pictures. For tier 3 through 5. And Matt, if you want to, go ahead and click save on the file so it can be updated to this point of the draft. So people can start seeing their teams. It has been requested. All right. All right, no problem, Matt. So Frostlass's free pick is going to be... No, yeah. Uh, so work has been taken. Uh, Frostlass is going to go with Lantern for his free pick. But since the work was taken, he'll have to choose something else for his... What do you call it?
Or is tier 5? Alright, so Galarian Linoon is what he's going to go with. And now it is Augusta Agron. So back to Ace Trainer Ryan here. And Ace Trainer Ryan decides to go for Gigalith. So Gigalith is off the board. And now we can move on to the Filipino Ferrothorns. Gotcha. Oh, wait, sorry, not Reb. Jesus Christ. Yeah, it's Reb, right? Filipino Fairthorn. Losing my mind slowly. Slowly but surely. Time for your free pick. It's here. Steelix is a free pick and it is off the board. So next up we have Calvin. Calvin is ready to make his pick. Boom. Helix was the last pick. Let's go ahead and keep the ball rolling. Alrighty, so now we just wait for uh, Calvin's pick. I believe he was skipped last time around, was he? I know we skipped somebody. Oh, we skipped Chris. Alright, so Chris, go ahead and give us your... Tier 5, and, well, let's message him now. Oh, he picked more Pico. Alright, Calvin O'Farrell is ready to pick. Let's see what he decides to go with. And Dusty, let me know who we did skip, because I don't know. 
Chose Christopher pick more Pico. Hitmon top. Hitmon top is taken now. And a wonderful Pokemon. Yeah, you did, Christopher. That's why I was confused. Well, let's go ahead and move on to Eric. And he said message him in the Facebook chat. So Yeah. Ryan took more Pico as soon as Christopher got skipped. Ryan took it. Oh, Ryan took more Pico? Oh man. Well, Christopher needs to uh pick a different tier five then. And uh, I just tagged Eric so in the Facebook chat, so he will be letting us know what he picks. <laughs> Woo! Crazy draft day. It is here. <laughs> And Eric goes Drapion. So Mr. G, Drapion. And then we move on to the next pick. Skillzen. My pick will be Hitmon Chan. I believe that one's still available. All right, Hitmon Chan is available. So all the Hitmons are gone. And now we go to Ryan with the Delaware Dittos. And Ryan goes Tentacruel this time. And that's probably an Isle of Armor Pokemon. So Tentacruel is off the board. What did the Johto Beast take? I got Drapion for the San Diego, and then I went to the Ryan. What did the guy in between them take? Johto Beast took uh, Hitmonchan. Okay, thank you. And uh, let Christopher know the timer's only two minutes. We don't want to be like the NFL and have it be like an eight minute timer, 10 minute timer. But uh, now it's Christopher's turn again. So perfect timing, he is active. <laughs> And yeah, guys, uh, person trades don't count against uh, your five free picks. I mean, your five uh, free agent moves. It'll just be a straight up trade between coaches. All right, so Christopher decides to go Garbodor for his Tier 5 pick. And for his free pick, he goes Gardevoir. 
So Gardevoir is officially off the board. And now we move on to the Myrtle Magic Arts. Myrtle select Salazel, tier three. All right, so Lazo's off the board. And is now a Magic Arts. Now we go to Serene Gray Shockwaves. And that's Casper. Do a blank for two seconds. Alrighty, guys. Most people have done their first free pick and three picks to go. Casper's typing. Let's see what happens here. Oh, Casper's undecisive right now let's see what decides to happen here and he goes lantern is that still available i don't think so i think uh that was picked already All right, you didn't mark it off. That's why he's confused. But a uh, lantern is taken, so Casper will have to repick. Casper, let's see what happens. <laughs> Sorry, I'm doing four things at once. That's what she said. <laughs> All right. Casper, I'll give you one more minute. All right, Gastrodon is taken. So Gastrodon is off the board. I think that's, no, that's an that's a original. That's an original Pokemon entered into the game. So Gastrodon is off the board, and now we go to Melvin. All right, and... Melvin takes out Creamy. And all Creamy's off the board. Next up, we got Dusty. And then so many more picks before it's my turn again. I believe I know what I'm taking already. 
As long as I don't get sniped, I'll be fine. Still plenty of great Pokemon out there too. All right, Dusty goes for Cantonian Raichu at tier for a tier four for his free pick. So next, it's David for Jesse. While I find Raichu of the Cantonian variety, and Rune Regis is taken. So now it is time for the Chibi Chews. XJ9 is your turn. Alright, so Jin XJ9 goes Politoed. So Politoed is off the board. I believe that's an Isle of Armor Pokemon. And next up we have Sharpie. I'm giving XJ9 some props for the best pick. So I guess Politoed is the best pick. Next up. Sharpie's going to take his Pokemon. Let's see what they decide to go with. Yeah. And for those of you wondering, the doc is up to date with all the picks. So y'all can go ahead and check that out now. All right, so Sharpie goes with the Dusclops in Tier 4. All right, so Dusclops has been taken. And next, it's my turn. So I am going to go with... Drum roll, please. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, boy. I'm going to go with Slurpuff and Obstagoon from Tier 3. I've been using Obstagoon in my doubles draft, and I have enjoyed it. And I mainly pick Slurpuff because I don't want to face anyone with the Slurpuff, but also I want to try it out. So next up, we have Savannah Sharpedoes once again. So I knew Slurpuff was going to be a snipe pick for some people. But I was like, I'm going to take it just in case. I didn't want anyone else running amok with it.
All right, Sharpie goes to Lowland Marowak. Should be here. Marowak. Isle of Armor? There we go. There it is. Marowak is officially off the board. And it's time for the Chibi Chews. Matt's having fun with the newly updated uh, style of the dock. And also, guys, the dock will be a little more updated uh, once we're done with uh, the draft. Uh, the tab will have your name on it. So once uh, the draft is complete, I'll fix that to where each tab has the coach's name and you'll be able to click your tab easier than having to remember what number you were. Uh, you get a total of four free picks. Um, mo uh, we just started the second pick. So if you haven't gotten your second one yet, you got three more to go. All right, XJ9 is ready with her pick. And she's going to go Flygon. So Flygon is off the board. I think that's the Crown Tundra. Or is, oh no, it's an original. It's an original. It's a Pokemon original. Flygon is officially off the board as we move on to the Rillagoons. And Rillagoons is already here and he goes Scyther. So Scyther is off the board as well. Isle of Armor Pokemon. And now it's time for the Knights to make their pick. Oh, that's what's happening. Uh, Matt, you were supposed to put the uh, picks in the draft area, and that, that would have filled the home thing. That would have filled everything else. So that's probably what's, your, what's happening. You, <laughs> you, you're, uh, you're all in the wrong spot, but it's okay. We'll fix that later. So what you're supposed to do, uh, Matt, is uh, put the names in the uh, the draft area next to the each trainer, and then it'll auto update the other two pages. But uh, we'll have to fix that. All right, Dusty picked Confagrigus, so I admit that. Pofagrigus, however you say it. Pofagrigus, and now it is Melvin's turn.
All right, Melvin, you're up. All right, Mian Shao. So Melvin's gonna go fighting here. I know that's all of armor. I drafted that last time. So Mian Shao is off the board, and now we have Serena Grace Shockwaves, and that's Casper. So Casper's turn to make a pick. Let's see what happens next. How are you guys doing in the coach's box? All right, Casper goes Serena. So Serena is off the board. And That's the original Pokemon as well, I think. Yep. All right. And next up we have Jesse. I mean, James. Sorry. James of the Myrtle Magikarp. I'm just giving y'all each other's names. Fuck it. Yeah, Myrtle will take uh, Rhydon, Tier 3. Alright, Rhydon it is. So Rhydon has been taken. <laughs> we go to the Jakutami Shurukens. And that's Christopher. All right, Christopher goes Palisand, and Ryan goes Golurk. So, Ryan goes Golurk. Now we have Shrewberry Jodo's Beast. So, skills in your turn to pick. I'm going to go for Galarian Weezing. All right, Galarian Weezing is off the board now. And now we can move on to... The San Diego Super Charizards, and that's uh, Eric in the Facebook chat. So let's go ahead and update him there. Mr. G, it is all you today. Woohoo, guys. Draft has been going by good. 
We got two more picks to go after this round. And everyone should be excited about their team. I'm certainly excited about mine. I'm still hoping to get one more Pokemon that I really want before uh, all this is said and done. So hopefully I don't get sniped. Alrighty, just waiting on Eric's pick. He has about another minute and a half. Tagged him in both. Let's see how this goes. So here in PML, we have a very short season of just seven weeks. Might expand it to eight weeks next season. Going to test that out. Uh, so basically, there'll be one rivalry game where uh, coaches battle one person from the other division. Probably uh, in a similar spot they are. It's going to be interesting. I, do, I, I don't want to expand the season too much in the future seasons. But uh, I do feel 7 is pretty tight. It's good though. It's it's not bad. Uh, it's a quick and easy season. Get it done in 2 months and you're done. But I know people like to try to battle someone from the other division as well. So I'm trying to mix that in. Alright, Eric uh, has seen it now, I believe. Let me just tag him one more time, and if he doesn't respond within a minute from this tag, uh, we'll move on, because this is taking a while. I mean, he is working, so understandable. But we also trying to finish. <laughs> trying to finish this draft and get on with our Saturday. Let's go, let's get it, let's do it. Draft time is now. All right, so it looks like we're going to have to skip over. And let's go ahead and move on to the PA Pilots. Let's see Coach Calvin. Yeah, we gave uh we gave Eric plenty of time. Uh Calvin is typing now. Let's see what he decides to pick up. All right, Bolton is taken. So 
Michael Bolton is off the board. And next up, we have coach of the Filipino Ferrothorns, Reb. Oh, and Eric did decide on a Pokemon. It is Electivire, so luckily he did not get sniped. So Reb is on the clock. Boop, 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 boop. And Reb goes Gudra with the tier three pick. Very nice pick there. So Gudra is off the board. And next up, we have Augusta Agrons. Hey, <laughs> Strainer Ryan says, finally. And Savannah Sharpedos are not happy about the Gudra pick. So Ace Trainer Ryan is picking now. Seems to be second guessing what he wants, but he ends up going with Weezing Pantonian. So Weezing Pantonian is off the board. And now we go to Matt to make his two free picks. Sorry, Matt Ashraf left. Badass Frost last to make his two free picks. And Frost last decides to go with Vile Plume and Gallade. So Vile Plume and Gallade are officially off the board. And now we go back to the Augustus Agron. Sorry, Augusta Agron. And we'll see what he decides to go with here. Ace Trainer Ryan's typing now. And Fraudon in Tier 3 is picked. So now we go to Filipino Ferrothorn. There we go. So far, so good for me. My pick is still out there. I'm not saying it's going to stay out there, but hopefully. Reb, let's see what you got. What are you going for? Let's 
typing now. And Reb goes for the tier 5 Flareon. So Flareon is off the board. Somewhere out there. Flareon's gonna be used. The amazing Flareon is now taken. And Sharpie was not excited about that one either. As that's the one he wanted. Alright. Calvin of the PA Pilots is going for something. I certainly wasn't going for it. So you got that you got part of it right, Sharpie. <laughs> so PA Pilots are on the clock. Calvin's typing now. Let's see what he decides to go with. Mr. Mime Cantonian, tier 5, is off the board. So Mr. Mime has been taken. And now it's time for the San Diego Super Charizards. So let's go to Facebook and let Eric pick his Pokemon. It is Eric's turn. He sees the thing. Dusty, please share the thing. Look at Mr. Mime dancing over there. It's like... <laughs> Alright, Dusty has showed him the list. So now he has two minutes to pick. What's the matter, trainer? San Diego... Super Charizards. For those of you who don't get why I did that, uh, it's a it's a Chargers thing. San Diego Super Chargers in the NFL. That's their little slogan. And there it goes for Malamar. So Malamar is no longer a Pokemon available for you. Nope. So Malamar is off the board, and we go to Shrewsbury. Town Johto Beast. Skills in, it's your turn. I'm going to go for Tier 5 Low Pony. Oh, Tier 5 Low Pony is off the board. And it is now a beast. So now we go to... Delaware Dittos, Ryan's turn. As we find ourselves a low bunny to put on screen. Miss Thickums. And Ryan goes for Ninetales. So Ninetales is officially off the board. That's the regular Pokedex. So Ninetales, Elf. And OP. There we go. Nine tells us off the board. Oh, that's why. And now it's time for the Shakudami Shurukins to make their pick. And he goes for the Magnazone. 
two, three. That's the Isle of Armor. And next up, we have Myrtle Magikarps. Yeah, Myrtle will take uh, Tier 3 Scrafty. All right, Tier 3 Scrafty is off the board and is now a Myrtle Magikarp. Next up, we have the Serene Gray Shockwaves. Uh, Casper. So far, so good. The mod I want is falling fast. Pokemon's I want actually. I could get lucky here. Casper, you have one more minute to make your pick. All right, Casper goes Jolteon. Jolteon is officially off the board. And now it's Melvin's turn. Boom. And Melvin goes Sandaconda here. So Sandaconda is off the board. And next up, we got Dusty for the Day Day Nights. Anaconda was the last pick. Now it is Dusty's turn. Coach is in the call. Feel free to talk. We were allowed to talk this whole time, Joe? Yeah, that's why I was like, why are they so quiet? <laughs> I didn't. I wasn't sure, man. I wasn't sure how official this thing was. I'm not trying to say something, you know. I couldn't talk a lot because I was at my in-laws. Oh, I got you. That yeah. sucks. I was like, man, so much I mean, dead air. I thought they would be talking a little bit. Yeah, I was the same. To be fair, I thought we were just talking through our picks, and that was it. No, no. I, I want. I like to have the conversation going, have it real. You know. I mean, it's professional, but it's not like serious hey uh jesse decide, which tweet pick should i troll david with <laughs> yeah dude how are your in-laws <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, they were good you know we had some burgers hot dogs brought you know some good stuff got it got it so you're you're ready to leave already i like it <laughs> yeah we're on the way home we're just stopping at a farmer's market so i can talk a little bit okay sounds good i bet the farmer's market was the wife's decision uh, they told her there's a farmer's market on the way home, so yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's got to be careful what he says. Happy wife, happy life. <laughs> happy wife, happy life. <laughs> All 
All right, Dusty Day Day, we're waiting on your pick. I'm ready for the podcast tonight. Which one of y'all doing? Make it. I gotta. I gotta figure out what excuse I'm gonna make, but I won't. Make it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Joe, which I'm one? Uh, Joe, which one are you doing? Kabutops. Kabutops. Okay. If we have James on there, this thing's gonna be like three hours long. Oh, um, wh- <laughs> we're gonna have a fun time. All right, Dusty goes ahead and picks Mag Mortar as we move on to the Rillagoon's pick. I'm going to pick Toxtricity at Tier 3. Ooh. All right. Big baller move. Toxtricity is gone. And now it is time for the Chibi Chews. Melvin was not happy about the Mag Mortar pick either. It is now. Zatu. All right, Zatu is off the board for the Chibi Juice. That was a good pick. Yeah. It was on my list. Any pick? Any pick you guys like? Uh, the other coaches made so far. I like that Zatu pick. Yeah, that Zatu pick was really good. Matt made that vile plume pick. Yep, that vile plume that also was good. I was noticing that was staying around a little bit long. I don't know how Guja stayed for so long. I don't even know. Galade and Gardevoir stayed around for quite a while as well. Expected them to get quickly. Yeah, the kissing cousins, man, it it changes. Dusty's making fun of my Dusty's making fun of me because of my Lorantis pick. But hey, I needed a grass type. <laughs> Alright, Sharpie goes ahead and picks ben- Dusty, I mean Sharpie picks Vanellix. So Vanellix. Oh, yeah, the Lorantis pick was pretty fire. Alright. Yeah. Here, here's the thing. Form foam <laughs> It's 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 my turn now. And the Pokemon I wanted has dropped. So I'm going to go Roserade and Berserker. Okay. So Roserade Tier 3 and Berserker Tier 4. I like Berserker. He actually has a wide move pool for being a still type. Yeah. Do you guys think think Giovanni would have still loved uh, a Galarian? Yeah. No. 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 I mean, sad. <laughs> I don't love Glaren. <laughs> and we're back to Sharpie. And TL. Uh, that, that Galarian version, I mean, that Alolan version is ugly as hell. I love that Mon. But it's, it's, a good, it, it's a good Mon. I don't really like the way it looks. It's a, it's a good Mon, though. Yeah, it's True. a good Mon. Yeah. It's just ugly. Uh, Sharpie goes yeah. Arctivish, Tier 4, and now we go to uh, the Chibi Chews again. Cheese. Ice cream. <laughs> okay, so the next... And, um... <laughs> and Ace Trainer Ryan says, you trash for leaving Arctizolt. There's so many good mons left, though. It's like, it's the impossible ball. to pick all the good ones. The watermelon. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Anyone want? Lorantis? I mean, that's a farmer's market, so it's local ground. Anyone so. want Lorantis? <laughs> <laughs> that's all yours. All right. It's uh. See, now I got a real firewater grass core. I just couldn't risk not getting a grass type. Types are overrated. XJ9 is making a pick. You say that until okay. you're facing a uh, water ground type. And then you're like, fuck, I should have got a grass type. There's only two of them. And I got one of them. So. <laughs> you're going to flip turn us all around, dude? You just, is that what you're going to do? Flip turn every yeah. other move? Yep. 
Stealth Rocks flip turn every time I see Defog. <laughs> Toxic Croak is XJ9's pick. So Toxic Croak is off the board. And now we move on to the Rillagoons. I'm going to go with Ulti Guys for my last pick. Wow. Ulti Guys. Last Spooky. pick is off the board. And now we go to the Knights. I'm surprised both of you guys took so long. Both of you guys is a uh, shell smasher. It's not that great. I don't know. I mean, people win with it, so. No, I like it. I like it. I was thinking, I was just thinking in what order. Like, if I had to put, where does it list amongst shell smashers? Yeah. If you get it off, it's right up there. But if you, it's hard to get it off. Yeah. Good old Turk. <laughs> I do like the shell smash, though. I mean, uh, I like the shell trap. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, Dusty's typing his pick now. And he goes Dragalgy. Actually, really good pick. Straight up power there, Dusty. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's good. That's a good run. We'll get there when we get there. <laughs> <laughs> that's Jesse's life motto right there. <laughs> All right. Now it is time for the New Orleans Apes. And he's going Scent Scorch. Tier 5 pick. Very good choice. And now we will go to the Serene Gray Shockwaves. And I'm sure glad I don't have to battle with this team. Ooh. Why his team's looking scary? Jesse, where are you at, man? You going over the hills and through the woods? I got water. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got the coach of the Serena Grace Shockwaves, which is Casper. Yeah, none of y'all were talking. Now everyone knows how dumb I am. My thought process is all over the place. Dude, Jesse's background conversation is killing me right now. Better put that shit back. <laughs> hey, you want a commentary. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we get there when we get there. March. Marching melody. I have no idea what that's about. I didn't see no one pick Mag Mortar. So Dusty did. Apparently it's been crossed. Oh, uh, Dusty, you crossed out Mag Mortar instead of Malamar. Make sure Malamar is crossed off. I think that's why everyone's... Mm, that makes sense. I was going to say, I mean, I'm sure Dusty would know which one crossed off. <laughs> and Casper goes yeah, basculin. Uh... Interesting pick to me. I don't know much about that. What's so special about this mon, guys? I don't know. Jesse, I, don't know. Well, I mean, James, it's your turn. It's it got adapt ability. It's got, it was its ability that made it decent. I just can't remember what it was. Mm. Yo, bro, you can just call us Team Rocket, man. Goodness I gracious. I know. I Jesse, James, James, Jesse, Jesse, Jesse. I tell you. <laughs> um, people realize how dumb in, I am now. 
No, not at all, man. I know it gets tough out here. Um, for my last pick, I'm going to go with Bear Tick. Myrtle Magikarp's pick, Bear Tick. All right, Bear Tick is good a answer, good answer. Off the board, a swift swimmer to pair with that Pelipper. And now we have the Chikudami Shurukens. Coach Christopher. Ooh, I like that pick there, James. Thank you. A little sneaky pick right there. I was like, what would Jesse do? And then I did the exact opposite. <laughs> what would Jesse do? Oh, no. Actually, if you wanted to do the opposite, you would have picked up here. <laughs> what did you say? I would have picked up what? Pukumuku. Oh yes, yes, Pukumuku. Yes, yeah, my boy. Baby shark. Baby shark. That's Carvana. Pukumuku. Can't even say that name. Pukumuku. <laughs> <laughs> But what would James do, Jesse? Would Jesse James a Jesse? Is it Jesse Cook James James? That translated well in my brain. I didn't <laughs> like it. I didn't like it. Dusty wrote it. I just read it. All right. Christopher chooses Lyford with this tier three. That's an original. That's a good pick. I'm surprised that lasted so long, actually. That's a good one. I think it's just that people forget about these mods. Yeah. It, it's not, so many. Yeah. So not. many. Uh, Ryan yeah. goes just Lilligan. Like the person that invented Let It Go was a genius, too. Uh, baby shark has frozen like. <laughs> You're talking about Baby Shark? Yeah. Yeah, we're listening to Baby Shark in the van. Baby Shark Man, is the Jesse. Let It Go equivalent. That's hilarious. Bro, to be to be in your family for one day, dude, you guys talk about Baby Shark? Trueberry I mean, Town Jettle Beast. Right now and they, have a, they have a little baby. So they're uh, my there. final pick. Gotcha. Uh, tier 3 is Guzzlord. Right. Oh, Guzzlord off the board. Ultra Beast late round pick. Can we talk about that name for a second though? That's easily the most provocative Pokemon name, right? Oh yeah, he guzzles. He guzzles it. Yeah, well yeah. I don't think yeah, there's yeah, a yeah. worse name. Yeah. yeah. Uh San Diego Super Charizards. Eric is in the other chat. I love Guzzlord's cry. <laughs> it just looks and sounds terrible. Have Last any other Ultra Beast been picked? Uh, I don't know. It'd be I don't a think so. If it was Blastalon, yeah, yeah, maybe. Really, but because Buzz, Buzzball was in tier two, I think. Yeah. Yeah, Blastalon was. Then I was I was gonna go Naganadel, but I was like Garchomp, Naganadel. I'm gonna go Garchomp. Hey, Evan. Yeah, I still have those yeah, yeah, Garchomp's there. Please use them. I was going to go with Naganadel, but then I realized I wasn't battling, so I tried to make the team David friendly. I was just <laughs> thinking, I was like, Jesse, I was surprised you didn't take Naganadel knowing you won with that. I, I actually wanted to go with Dragonite, but it got picked a few picks before me, so I'm like... Oh, Cartana was picked too, and Sakataka. Oh, damn. Who got Cartana? That was a great pick. I think Ryan yeah. did. Oh, yeah, they were. Yeah, yeah. Go Sakataka. I don't want to face that thing. I think the only no. Ultra Beast I think didn't get a pick was Archery. Yeah, I would have picked it, but it's too much work to make it work. 
All right, Eric sees the chat, so let's see what he decides to pick. We are almost done, guys. Almost done. I couldn't, like, I I, I thought y'all knew y'all could talk. That's why I was like, well, that's the point of the call thing. Nah, man, you gotta you gotta let me know, dude. I've been holding in all these terrible jokes. <laughs> All right, uh, Eric goes double in tier three. Uh, That's a nice pick. That's a very nice pick. I like that. Calvin's turn. Evan. Evan. Do we have to listen to songs like this when we have a kid? No. You hear the pain in his voice. Oh my. No. Gosh. Yeah. Is that what settling down looks like, boys? I'm not ready. Don't be. <laughs> You're not ready. All right. Skunk Tank is taken by Calvin. Wow, looking back through tier one, there's like still so many good mons that weren't picked. That's crazy. Yeah, it, that, that's that's the downside of this kind of draft, but the upside is. Your things like Tyranitar, Crocodile, Grimmsnarl, Ditto, Blaziken, Celesteela, Aegislash. I'm glad I'm not playing any of them, to be honest. But, you know, it's... <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm just surprised they're not there. Reb's turn. Well, I mean, that also helps. You. Like, once you're done with your draft, you can be like, you know what? Maybe the tier one I pick isn't what I want. You still have plenty of good options to go with. So, yeah. That's always a positive. And Reb glows Clefairy in tier five. He saved his best free pick for last. And now we have Augusta Agron's ace trainer Ryan making his final pick of the draft. All right, ace trainer Agron bringing in his mascot, and Agron is officially part of the Augusta Agron. I had a brain fart when I saw him picking. I'm like, why is he picking two picks? Oh well, no, it's just... <laughs> so Agron for Agron. Yep. And lastly but not yep. leastly, Frost Lash is picking Iggly Buff. Ooh. And what? Yeah, he's picking Iggly Buff. Yeah, Iggly Buff tier three seems legit. Uh, legit. I would assume tier five, because I don't think anyone's ever picked Iggly Buff in our life. But Iggly Buff is <laughs> uh, the baby one. Yep. He went he went all the way down. He straight up said I'm gonna pick I'm gonna pick uh danger. I don't have Iggly Buff here. But thank you guys for enjoying the stream. Uh so what do you guys think of all these teams? You guys we're all going down. Feel the wrath of Pelipper, bro. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, that's yeah, not... Palapus, yeah, Palapus is the scariest member of your team, not the bear tick, but we'll just scratch from away. Oh, you don't want to see the bear tick be riding that Pelipper, dude. That's a whole, that's a whole <laughs> oh, world you ain't ready for. I, I, I would love to see that. That sounds like some weird <laughs> Pokemon coin. I don't want to see it. <laughs> oh, well, oh, okay. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me neither. <laughs> <laughs> but all right, guys, that is the end of the draft. Y'all are free to do what you want to do for the rest of the day. I appreciate y'all taking out this time. Woo! We finished the draft in three hours exactly. So, and hey, Christian, how's it going? So, thank you guys for enjoying. Thank you guys for watching. And uh, 
join PML to support your favorite team. See you guys next time. Hey, Jim.